Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Mega Man Legends. I'm sorry I'm a little delayed on this by two days, but we're gonna get back in the playthrough and I'm gonna try to have a part up every day. So we got the Citizen's card, now we're gonna be going into the city here. And um, uh, Jim's gang right here, they're talking about something, but um, uh, you have to actually just sneak up on them in order to hear what they're saying. But on this next part coming up here, the game gets really um, uh, action-packed and actually kind of challenging, where most players could actually die in this part coming up. Whisper, whisper. That girl looks suspicious, I tell you. She has to be a pirate. She said she was looking for treasure. No one believes us. We're going to have to get her ourselves. Hey, someone's spying on us. It's that blue guy again. Oh. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's go. So now we can enter the city here. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right, you've got it. Huh? What are you looking at? So that's the serve bots doing some reconnaissance, and that's actually Tron. So she's um she's uh, one of the most important characters in the Mega Man um uh, Legends games, and um uh she actually appears in several like Capcom games, fighting games. Um, so people know her from that, but unfortunately they don't know her from Mega Man Legends. I know everyone's afraid and wants to get away, but they should be more careful when they drive. You better watch out too. And make sure you don't get run over. Yeah, and that's actually a joke. So the um, NPCs will actually comment on how crazy the drivers are in Catalog Island. So the drivers, they will not stop. They will actually um, hit you and knock you down. And they can actually kill you. So it's, um, uh, the drivers are a bit crazy. And um, as for trash cans, you can find some interesting loot. Um, but uh, if you kick them and they, the can just flies open like that, it means there's nothing inside. However, if you kick them and there's... there's um, uh, they, they shake without the um, the top um, coming off. It means there's something inside. Let's take a look then. Um, so I know that you can find something in the trash cans. I just can't remember exactly what. Haven't you heard about the pirates? Everyone in town's evacuating. You'll be smart to get out of here too. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, this is it. It's a garbage pail. Is there anything inside? Ten Xenia is almost nothing. Um... Okay, maybe this is where... Is there anything inside? Broken motor. Okay, that's gonna be important. I think that allows you to make the vacuum arm, which actually helps a lot with looting. So now let me show you. The drivers are actually kind of scary. Um... So like when I was a kid, this actually scared uh, me so badly. Like the drivers will not stop. So see, <laughs> they just won't stop, and like that will scare you. So like when you're crossing the street and they just hit you like that, that that can actually freak you out a bit. Um, let's check the um, library. Can we even go inside yet? Oh, we can. Okay. There's some pretty nostalgic music that plays in all the places. Like this um, place has pretty nostalgic. This is the library. We won't let the pirates close us down. <laughs> library's still open during that. If the pirates blow up the library, that means that the teachers can't make us read any more books. <laughs> yep, a typical what a kid would think of in this time. Um, I figured that after being evacuated, I'll have a lot of time on my hands. So I came to get something to read. I heard about the pirates coming, so I came to look up everything I can about pirates. 
Based on what I've read so far, it seems like pirates aren't a nice bunch of people, are they? Yeah, they're not. It's a book called Introducing to Digging. I remember reading this a long time ago. Let's see. Remember to improve your weapons as often as you can. Make sure you have the right tools for the job at hand. You can choose to improve your weapon's firepower, rate of fire range, as well as reloading speed. It's also important to think about which of your special weapons to upgrade and when. Sounds like good advice. And there's more uh, stuff to read, but uh, we'll skip through that right now. We're going to focus on the main story. Um, did we talk to everyone we can in town? And like, as I play this game, I'll try to do all the side quests, because there's a lot of side missions and stuff, and I'll try to have dialogue with as many NPCs as possible. The lakeside re resort area is uh, on the other side of this gate. I figured if I had to evacuate, I might as well go some um, place comfortable. But the gate was already closed by the time I got here. And let's talk to the police officer, and then we're gonna go to, um, City Hall. Huh? The city offices? The gate to the City Hall area is right over there. Just don't be uh, loitering about these parts, okay? So the police, like I said, the police on Catalox Island are really incompetent, and uh, we're gonna get into that, and I'm gonna talk about that a little, um, further. Okay, so this is, um, uh, City Hall. Huh? Don't you know that all civilians are supposed to evacuate this area? You're just like that girl over there. Don't you know you're supposed to do what adults tell you to do? Now we can talk to Tron here, huh? What do you want? You've been following me uh, around all day, haven't you? Sorry, but I don't have time to play with you. Just stay out of my way, okay? So you're gonna wonder why Tron is just um uh, in these different areas here. Are we able to visit the police station? Let's see. I've done a lot of things since I joined the force, but I've never hurt, had to fight pirates before. I hope we're up to the task. Yeah, you better hope you're up to the task. Only authorized personnel are allowed inside the office. So now this music, um, uh, this is the police station music, and this music actually plays in the Ace Attorney game. So, um... In the Ace Attorney games, you can actually hear this, but I'm trying to remember if it was first in Mega Man Legends or Ace Attorneys. I'm pretty sure it actually comes from Mega Man Legends. Um, so this is this soundtrack is in two different Capcom games. There's a serve bot. I'm not here to sp spy. No, not me. The serve bots are just adorable. Um, with these pirates running around, I'm glad we have such a well-trained police force. Yeah, <laughs> well-trained police force. That's the joke. I lost my wallet while I was shopping. Can you help me? Our job as police officers is to serve and protect the people of Catalox Island. It turns out your grandfather, Professor Beryl, is an old friend of the mayor's. I didn't know he was such a renowned archaeologist. No matter how brave those pirates might be, they wouldn't attack the police station, would they? We'll see about that. I figured I'd hide here. I mean... At a time like this, the police station probably the safest place to be, right? I don't think there's any more NPCs to talk um, uh, to right now. Let's see. Oh, and I think you can still... I think you can go inside the bank also. I might as well check that. The bank would definitely be a place the pirates would hit. This is the bank. A lot of people are nervous with the pirates around, and have come to withdraw their money. I've got money saved here, no matter what happens, I'm gonna make sure the pirates don't get it. So it looks like the money on Catalox Island's banks aren't insured by the government. The pirates aren't coming, are they? Please say they're not. I figured that since I was evacuating, I should withdraw my money from my account. But I forgot I only have 980 zenny in the bank. That's not a lot of money in these games. Um, there are a lot of pamphlets lined up. Okay. The pirates have got me frightened too, but I'll bet it's the mayor who's really worried. Can we talk to the tellers? Here. It's a gathering too, too dangerous here. I'm thinking that maybe we should shut down temporarily. This is the bank. If you're planning on evacuating, please be sure to withdraw your money first. 
I think that's pretty much everyone we can talk to here, except the police officer in front of the city hall. Um, so this this um, map, just running around on Catalox Island, exploring it, it's, you know, this is the first open world game I played, and it's just so nostalgic still, especially the music and the theme. Professor Barrel, yes, he's here. He's in a meeting with the mayor. Please wait one minute. Oh, that's definitely one of the slowest walkers I've seen. Oh, he's back? Okay. Thank you for waiting. Go on in. Hey, Mega Man! Come to check up on me, eh? Here, let me introduce you to the mayor of this island, Amelia. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrels. I worked as his assistant for a while, while I was in school. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll bet anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it, Professor. I've been in the digging business a long time, but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? And so this is City Hall right here, um, uh, so I'm gonna talk with the Legendary Treasure in a moment here, but let's, um, uh, let's see if we can talk to some NPCs here. Oh. You have to even load up to go up the staircase, uh, 1990s games. Oh, that's, that's the office, okay. Let's see what the, um, NPCs here say. I can't sit still, I'm so worried about those pirates coming. I've got to take care of my evacuation procedures before it's too late. We are currently handling evacuation applications. So they, they have to fill out applications to evacuate? You know, that's not the smartest to do. You should evacuate right away. You're from out of town, aren't you? Aren't you a digger? Don't worry, everyone uh, here is very friendly. You may not know your way around yet, but still, um, you'll find that you'll get along just fine. Please just remember to be observe the law and you won't have any problems. Oh, it's a dog! <laughs> What's that all about? And when I was a kid and I got to this part, I actually Look couldn't figure out what I had to do. I, I actually didn't know what I was supposed to do here on this part. Um, I actually just ran around, um, and then I realized I actually had to go to the um, other part of the city. I had to go back to downtown. Oh, it looks like Jim and his gang are here. And now this moment in the game is very important in regards to also, um, uh, setting up the story for Legends 1 and 2. But it's true, officer. My Paprika found a suspicious looking girl. She must be a pirate. She's come here to check things out, I'm sure of it. You don't believe us, do you? What do the police say? Are you friends with these kids? Haven't I told you all that you have to evacuate? That girl's a pirate, right? Didn't your mother um, ever tell you not to lie? So you see, the police are pretty incompetent on this um, uh, on this island. So here, um, uh. Tron is being scared by the dog, and you have to try to talk to her. I'm not a circus clown or something! Go on, get out of here! Yeah, so, um, in the Japanese version, you can actually kick the dog, which that sounds kind of messed up, but you can do that in the Japanese version. In the, um, American and European version, I don't believe you can do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Um... Hey, cut it out! Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? Hey, hold on. 
Down, boy. Down. Are you all right? Uh, uh, um... <laughs> Yeah, so she has a crush on Mega Man and, um, uh, you know, anime love. You see the eyes, huh? <laughs> Very anime-like. You... You just mind your own business! So her crush on Mega Man is actually going to be very relevant to the story in Legends 1 and pretty le relevant in Legends 2 as well. Uh, let's go back and find Roll now. Hey Mega Man, what's up? We're always open for business no matter what. If we can do anything for you, just ask. Okay. Can I sell anything? Oh, don't, don't want to sell the broken motor. Um, okay, bye. Adds one point to the life uh, gauge, um, or gauge, I should say. Um, energy canteen, okay. Sh repairs damage life shield. Uh, power razor, range booster, turbo charger. Um, Hmm. I'm trying to remember what the energy does. Um, I think that's rate of fire. Okay, I just want to check something really quick. What is my, um... Uh... Okay, uh, wrong one. Uh, buster parts. What do I have? Rapid fire and power razor. Okay. Okay, let's buy... First, let's upgrade the life, uh, gauge. Okay, now parts. Okay, power razor. Um, uh, and let's see. And we'll get the range booster too. Okay. Uh, buster parts. Okay, so my thing isn't going to have that- my buster isn't going to have that much of a rate of fire, but it's going to do more damage and have more range. Who's this guy? I think this guy's a digger. Are you a digger? I'm here doing research on the ruins of this island here. There- there sure are a lot of them, aren't there? So those ships are actually called Drops. Um, I think that that means dragon in German. Where's Gramps? What? He's talking with the mayor at City Hall? I hope he'll be okay. By the way, did you see those weird looking ships that just flew past here? I've never seen ones like that before. I wonder whose they are. Oh, so now there's more of them. There! There goes one! So the pirates have started their invasion of Catalog's Island, and um, uh, and Roll is just running um, uh, to get to City Hall to get to her grandpa. And here's the thing: you actually see her running here, and if you run really fast, you can actually um, uh, she can actually um, knock you down. Ah, uh, I didn't make it, but she can knock you down if you get in front of her, and um, then she'll say, "I'm sorry," so she can make you trip. Um, Mega Man, why don't you save? Tell me. What should I do? Looks like something's happening downtown. The pirates are attacking. You should get ready. 
Okay, let's go meet the pirates. And we let's just save here just in case because I haven't um I haven't done the combat in some time. I still remember the combat pretty well, but just to be safe, um Okay, there we go. So the game starts out a little bit slow, but now it's where the action is going to be coming in, here. Hold it right there! You can't go in there! This area's closed off! Please, officer, let us through! Our grandfather's in there and... Hmm? You can't go in either. It's dangerous. What's happening? Those pirates have attacked the island, just like they said they would. They're after the treasure that's supposed to be buried here. Enough talk. You have to leave here, now. Pirates? They've occupied the gate over there. They're too heavily armed. We can't even get close to them. Maybe I can do something. Mega Man, I'm going with you. No roll, it's too dangerous. Let me handle this. But... All right. You look out for Gramps, okay? Wait, are you crazy? Wait, where do you think you're going? What can a single boy possibly do? So now this part coming up is pretty cool. This is the pirates now. This is one of the best villain introductions. We're the bonds. We're pirates. You better so that's it. Through. That's right. The serve bots are the pirates. We're not gonna let you through. So there. We'll be in big trouble if we let anyone through. Miss Tron will punish us. No way we're gonna give you the key. Let's get him! The servbots aren't the leaders of the pirates, though. They're just the henchmen. Get the key to the gate. One of the one of the three servbots has the key. They can um, pass it back and forth between them. So you have to figure out which one has it. Each of the three servbot robots is unique and has different capabilities. Red is built for combat, blue is built for speed, and yellow is built for endurance. So yellow has the most armor, um, red has the most weapons, and blue is the fastest. Mission start! And they're gonna, uh, when you do enough damage, they start moving away, yep. Let's take down yellow first here. If you actually memorize their route, you can actually put down mines, but um, uh, they change, they move to a lot of different uh, routes. So the range did definitely help. And this is where, you know, most players start to die in their first part. You know, the game throws a lot of bosses at you early on in the game. Okay, that's the first Bloom Bear uh, taken down. And the thing is, though, when you actually see the serve bots running away, you can actually um, hit them like that and they'll get knocked down. Now, the serve bots, they're small little robots. Okay, let me see about that. Drop. Okay, we're gonna try to take that down. Okay. Whoa, okay, took a lot of that damage there. It's it, You feel kind of bad for doing that to the serve bots. But you also gotta remember at the same time, they are the villains. Okay, one more. That one has the key. 
We're gonna try to cut him off because um, I don't think you can catch up to him if you just follow him from behind. I think he'll outrun you because blue is the fastest one. Ah, damn. There we go. Mission complete. Now here's the second boss. So this section throws three bosses at you, um, or three bosses at you really um early on. the bloom bears by himself I don't understand whenever I think about him I get this funny feeling oh forget it who cares what this feeling is it's all his fault his fault how dare he I'll teach him not to mess with me or my kids here we go Feldinot so now this boss is um a, a bit harder than the um, bloom bears that you fought before. I love this soundtrack too. Hey, you! Thanks to you, everything's a mess now, isn't it? Huh? Aren't you the girl who's being chased by that dog? Shut up! I don't want to hear about that. Do you know what you've done? Huh? You're a lot dumber than you look. You should have known better than to pick a fight with the Bonds. Of course, if you agree to become one of my servants, I suppose I could forgive you. What do you say? That way my brother will never have to know about what you did to us. Join up with pirates? I don't think so. <laughs> All right then, forget you. Fine, see if I care. I gave you a chance and you turned it down. Don't come back crying to me later. So I remember when I played this as a kid so many years ago, like this was, you know, late 90s when I played this, I was actually shocked that she was um, uh, one of the leaders of the pirates. She's not the main leader, but she's one of the leaders. The leaders are the family members. There's the She is the um, sister, and then she has a younger brother and an older brother. Now, um, on this part, you want to try to keep this boss from blowing up the buildings, try to keep the boss focused on shooting you. And the reason you want to do that is because uh, she can actually destroy all the buildings here. So all the buildings are actually destroyable. And if she destroys that, the city will constantly ask Mega Man to actually pay for damage repairs. And that can actually cost a lot of money. Whoa, oh. Aw, oh, she... She blew up one of the buildings already. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. We got it now. Did I take any damage? Nope, I didn't on that first on that boss. Notice when the characters talk in this game in cutscenes, their mouths and eyes actually move. A lot of PS1 games actually didn't have that at that time, so this was actually a massive advancement. Um, so it looks like she blew up how many buildings? Three buildings? 
Um, it's not the end of the world, you know, we'll pay for those, but, you know, some players, they don't realize how much damage she can do, she can actually destroy every building and damage the library, and that can cost a lot of money to repair. Mega Man, why don't you save? Yeah, I think it's a good idea to save. Because then the next part only gets harder. If you thought that part was a little challenging, next part only gets harder. Indications are that the mysterious group of pirates will continue its offensive for the foreseeable future. I like how they're not hurting the reporter. Story of the day. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, the city center was attacked by a group of unknown pirates who demanded they be given the keys to the caves and tunnels underneath our island. The mayor has refused to give in to their demands and is currently under siege alone in City Hall. Local police are helpless in front of the power of the pirates' weapons. It may be only a matter of time before City Hall is destroyed. Hopes are rapidly fading as... I've just been handed this update, viewers. It appears that the robots and machines being used to lay siege to the city have been destroyed by a single young boy. And now, that same boy has come through the gate and is heading towards... I like how they had enough time to write that for the media. There he is! I can see him! He really is alone! Can this lone hero save the mayor? Defend City Hall. The red robots will attack City Hall, while the yellow robots will attack the nearest building. Protect City Hall, the police station, and the bank from the pirates. This part um, uh, gets really challenging to try to keep all the buildings from getting destroyed. Now what you want to do is you want to focus on these these things right here. These um, trying to remember the name of these um, uh, these uh, vehicles, but I think servbots are controlling these, and they will actually bring more of those um, uh, more of those kind of bulldozer like um, uh, robots in. You can drop mines like that, and what will happen is they will actually um, keep spawning those in. So these bulldozer robots, they're actually infinite. You want to take down the drop ships. being chased right here too. Uh, you there! Those robots are being deployed by a flying barrier! You should go after that first if you want to stop them! So you see how the dropships are just bringing those in. Um, it was the blue one that I damaged before, right? Oh, these bombs. One complaint that people had about the first Mega Man Legends is that the uh, the you had you got stopped when you aimed, and so the aiming wasn't the uh, wasn't the most advanced. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see this? The city hall is catching fire. Okay, that's it for them there. And you can kind of farm Zenny in this mission. That's the current, the, the in-game um, currency, just by keep blowing these up. But uh, then you also risk the buildings getting blown up too. If you actually take down the dropship while it's carrying the bulldozer, they'll both go down. Yep. There we go on that. Definitely a lot of Zenny to pick up here. Now we just gotta get rid of the last of the blowser, bulldozers. Now these won't spawn anymore because of uh, the fact that we blew up all the dropships. That's it. But is it? So now this is Bon Bon. This is Tron's um, young younger brother. And um, he is mostly robot, so I think he's like <laughs> mostly cyborg. But, um, uh, 
this boss is actually pretty challenging. So even though he's not, he doesn't have as big of a robot as Tron, uh, all the different attacks that he has. See that? You want to run away when he does that. And he has a lot of health. That missile attack is the worst one that he does. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can dodge the missiles just by running right towards them, but it's, um... Oh, yep. See how many missiles he sends. Oh, 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 ooh, that was close. So he is mostly robot, like I said, that's why they're able to pick him up by magnet. But now you'll see, this is the pirate's main ship that you guys saw in the intro, and um, you're gonna see Teasel, who is the uh, leader of the pirates right now. What the heck happened to Tron and Bond? They should have been back by now. Oh, those two! Nope, I told them they were in charge, so I won't worry. I'll let them take care of it themselves. Hmm. Hey, look at the clock! It's almost time for my favorite show! I almost missed it! Next story. City Hall was attacked by a mysterious group of assailants this afternoon, but their offensive was beaten back by an equally mysterious young boy, pictured here on screen. What? What? Who the heck is that <laughs> blue boy? So Bond was defeated, but what about Tron? This is a potential disaster! We could end up losing a lot of money on this one! Alright, it's obvious that I, Teasel Bond, will have to assume command. Who needs that key anyway? It might take some time, and it might take some money, but who cares? I'll use my ultimate digging machine, the Marl Wolf, to dig up the treasure myself! And I won't let any little blue boy get in my way either! <laughs> huh? Wait a sec. Bond's probably okay, but what about Tron? So that is the leader of the pirates, and, um... Mission complete! And, uh, uh you'll find out Man why, um, why Tron was leading the attack in this game if you play the prequel, because in the prequel he actually plays you the pirates. You did it, Mega Man! Come on, let's go look for Gramps! Mega Man, roll! Sorry to give you a scare like that. Don't you worry, though. I'm as healthy as I ever was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief. We were worried about you, Gramps. With your help, we were able to keep those pirates from getting the key to the ruins. Thank you. Amelia says she'll give us a digger's license as thanks for helping her. Now we'll be able to look for parts to fix the flutter. I know it's not much, but it's the least I can do for you. Excuse me. Your Honor, we got a new problem. Those pirates have started digging up the northern forest. What? They weren't able to get the key, so they must be going after the treasure directly. I'm amazed they'd go to that much trouble. 
Even if they are criminals, you've got to admire their persistence. Who knows what will happen if they get their hands on the treasure? Inspector, I want you to arrest them immediately. Yes, ma'am. That's not gonna go good. With a cl Class D uh, B Digger's License, you can get into the ruins in the Carden Forest to the south and the ruins up north in the Closer Woods, where the pirates are now. We have to make sure we get to the ruins before the pirates do. I'm, I'm sure they won't leave much by the time they're done. I wonder if the inspector will be alright. So I guess we'll probably end it off here, guys. Um, we did a lot in this section, and we met the pirates, and um, so the pirates are trying to get the treasure on the island, and like the story says that there's supposed to be an ancient disaster if the treasure is ever uncovered. Um, and uh, that's gonna that story is actually going to play a big part. You'll find out what the treasure is later on. But thank you, everybody, for watching this series. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I do. I love this game so much. It holds a really special place in my heart and my childhood. So thank you guys for watching. I'll have the next part up as soon as, you, I, as I can. Take care, everyone.